Focus on getting the entire industry, entire aviation industry, over to zero emission, not just a small segment of small aircraft with batteries, for example. If you take that approach, then uh, you quickly realize that um, almost the only way to do it is through hydrogen. Hydrogen is a very light fuel. Uh, so it's actually on a per mass basis, per kilogram of fuel, uh, it contains three times more energy than jet fuel. Right, so uh, your fuel system can be made lighter than the current systems that fly the aircraft. scientific barrier, so we don't need new science in order to get there. Uh, we need to constantly improve the systems and um, increase the uh, you know, uh, temperature and pressure in, uh, in the fuel cell chambers, uh, core, uh, cores of our system, uh, which we're well on track for. Um, but in the uh, 15, 20 years, I think, we can cover all sizes of aircraft.
innovation can only happen if you have knowledge on which to base it. Um, you know, if you continue doing the same thing as you've always done, uh, that's not innovation. And if you want to innovate, you need new ideas, new thoughts, new knowledge. And that's what uh, fundamental research creates. So there are, of course, many societal problems that are of interest to all leaders, uh, politicians, and also entrepreneurs. Climate change, the pandemic, but also clean water for everyone, world poverty, inequality. So you could say, well, why don't we just do research specifically on those? Well, people do, and that's really good and has to be done. But let's remember that all the solutions for all of these also need fundamental knowledge. And we have a bunch of really good examples. COVID is one, the COVID vaccine was generated within eight or nine months. That obviously couldn't be done by new research. It takes much longer to validate new research. It was stuff that had been done before. Uh, fundamental research for completely other purposes. So you never know what you might need. You need to create knowledge that might help you solve a problem that you didn't even know about. that um, uh, for research, you have to defend and say something certain comes out. When we look at uh, venture capitalism and investing in startups, it's perfectly normal for funders, investors in these, that many of them fail. That's the nature of risk. So why should that be different for research? And in fact, research has the added effect. Even if it doesn't come with a sort of mind-blowing result, it will still establish new knowledge. That's essential for everybody. Let me add that uh, in research, you know, the humanities, the social sciences are at least as important for innovation, for understanding how to improve the world. What is the message um, of research to business? Come and listen. Come and listen. It's so exciting what's going on. Just seek out researchers, learn and listen. Everybody will benefit and it's fun.